Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today uh, in this video, we have something truly exciting to share with you. So in this video, I will dive deep into a new player in town, which is Adobe recently launched Firefly. Uh, you know what's crazy? Like it has a unique set of advantages that is an intuitive user interface, a designer focused set of features and a massive building audience. So you know, Firefly a launch is a mainstream moment for AI image generation. But you know, uh, here's the crucial question. Like, is it an any good or not so in this video I'll walk you through uh, like what makes Adobe Firefly different from other AI tools by you know highlighting its features and also I'll help you decide if you should consider using Firefly over the slew of other art generators out there or not. So anyway, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so first of all, if you go into your uh, Google Chrome or any other browser and if you search in this website, which is fireflyadobe.com, so this will basically direct you to the website of Adobe Firefly where you know all the magic happens. So you know first of all uh, let me just go ahead and sign up uh, with Adobe Firefly very quickly so for that you need to click on this blue button sign in over here and you can go ahead and continue with Google, Facebook or Apple it's totally up to you so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly sign up for Adobe Firefly. All right, so I'm um, all signed up. So, you know, take a look at this. So Adobe Firefly, first of all, uh, you know, offers an innovative website, innovative design, a very cool interface to you guys. So here you go. If you can see, like, we have tons of features over here. So we have, you know, text to image, which means you can create unique images from a text prompt and apply style presets. So, you know, let's test this out. So if I can go ahead and click on this generous. So as you guys can see right over here, we can see we have lots of templates and sample images that people have created. And you can also see the prompt about these, uh, you know, templates as well. So, you know, what's cool with this amazing Adobe Firefly, you can basically go ahead and create like hypothetical images, you know, the images that does not exist, like, you know, very close to your imagination. So you can go ahead and create those kind of images as well. Like, take a look at this, you know. So you say geometrical dog walking minimalist. So it basically create the geometric dog for you. And if you can go ahead and see a giant magical deer, god of forest, sniffing flowers on the forest floor. So let's just say if I go ahead and you know create a prompt here like a steampunk uh, chameleon wearing a monocle and top hat so let's just go ahead and click on this generate but before that i really want to tell you guys you know so adobe firefly basically offers you uh, the free version to you guys as well you know in which you can basically go ahead and get 25 monthly generative credits so you know it will basically be enough for you to create like maximum amount of images that you want but if you want you can go ahead and subscribe to their premium plan, which is really, really affordable if you ask me, which is like $4.99 per month. So with that, you'll basically go ahead and get access to 100 monthly generated credits, Adobe fonts, and you know, no watermarks on images generated by Firefly. So this is really, really affordable and really nice. So if you want to go ahead, you can simply purchase a premium plan without any problem, okay? All right, so now let's come back to our text to image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enter my prompt over here, click on this generate button. All right, and after that, it will basically go ahead and, you know, like take some time, but you just need to go ahead and wait for that. All right, so take a look at this, guys. A steampunk chameleon wearing a monocle and top hat. So check this out, you know, it basically has created all the results for us. And you know, this is not like some uh, simple images. These are really, really good. Like check out the colors, check out the details, check out the clarity, each and everything is really, really up to the mark, right? So it basically, you know, I go ahead and competes with amazing tools like uh, Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, and all those tools uh, with this amazing AI image generation, okay? So not only that, you can also go ahead and get access to a lot of other tools as well, you know, uh, through which you can play with. So first of all, we have Firefly Image 2, which I already clicked. So with that, you can generate higher quality images of people, improve text alignment, and enjoy better style support, all right? Then we have Aspect Ratio, so you can go ahead and change this to like landscape, uh, portrait, square, or anything you want. Then you have like content type photo. If you want to go ahead, you can create photo. Or if you want, you can go ahead and create art. Uh, then we have visual intensity, okay? So, uh, you know, with that, you can basically go ahead and play with these all tools as well. Then we have upload your image. So basically with that, you can match the style from your own reference image, all right? So let's test this feature out. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and upload, uh, you know, my image uh, to check this amazing feature out. Here you go. And I'm going to go ahead and change a chameleon to person. And I'm going to go ahead and generate this prompt again with my style reference image over here. Uh, you know, and what's cool is like basically also gives you suggestion as well for the prompts in order to, you know, uh, get the precise and efficient output for you uh, if you want. Okay. 
So let me just go ahead and generate this and see like how cool does it work. All right, so take a look at that. So basically the project prompt, you know, a stream punk male wearing a monocle and top hat next to an old airplane with chains on his neck and also provided my image over here, reference image gallery. So, you know, uh, for that, it basically provided me quite a bit of efficient output. It's not like that much good, but you know, uh, you can go ahead and use these images uh, for future reference. But you know, uh, like this feature is really, really new. So it will basically get better in the future. And after that, uh, then you have effects. So you can go ahead and change the effects to your picture as well, which we'll keep on adding in your prompt as well. Then we have color and tune. So, you know, you can go ahead if you are like an editing person or, you know, a photo enthusiast. So you can go ahead and play with these options as you will get tons of features for your images to edit. Okay. All right. So another cool example, if I can show you guys, is I go ahead and go to text to image uh, prompt and I provided a close-up portrait of an elderly man outside in the evening, realistic and photographic look. And for for that, uh, the Adobe Firefly gave me these, uh, you know, variations. So these look absolutely amazing, right? If you look closely, and if I go ahead and try this prompt again and again, so it will basically provide me with a different, uh, you know, person, like different race. Uh, so I went ahead and, you know, provided this prompt to every other tool which is out there in the market competing Adobe Firefly, which is like Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, and Dali Tree. So the result was absolutely amazing. If you can go ahead and take a look at this. So first of all, uh, Dali Tree, it basically kept all is you know uniqueness and brightness in this picture so this looks absolutely perfect but adobe firefly absolutely nailed it because you know our prompt was a close-up portrait of an elderly man outside in the evening realistic photographic look right so you know adobe firefly took all the details in the image and provided absolutely you know colorful and you can say like very realistic detailed image to us and if i can go ahead and see the mid journey as well so mid journey was absolutely amazing as well so was like stable diffusion because that one absolutely nailed it okay so yeah this was very a cool comparison just to see like how well our a new tool which is adobe firefly can compete in the market with the tools you know that are already available and that are quite famous right all right so the next feature uh that we have is generative fill so you know you can use a brush to remove objects or paint in new ones from text descriptions okay take a look at this sample image so it's basically brushing the person's shirt and you know it basically uh go ahead and providing textual description to change the shirt. So let's just go ahead and try this out. All right, so first of all, it's asking to use a brush to remove objects. So you know, get started, select a sample asset or upload an image. So you can go ahead and upload an image as well in order to do that. Or if you can go ahead and select any of the sample images, let's just say if I go ahead and select this image of a girl. So if I can go ahead and brush her uh, shirt out and let me just do that really quickly. All right, so it's all done. And so now I can go ahead and provide Taxual description, if I write like blue denim jacket with shirt inside, okay? So let's just say if uh, that is going to do it for me or not. All right, so take a look at that. Basically providing me no one but three variations with blue denim jacket, which is absolutely perfect. And you know, with uh, like different colors of inners inside, which we, I have is like yellow, then I have white and another like some peach color, okay? So, you know, it basically works really, really efficiently if you want to, you know, just... Uh, be very productive or uh, be creative with a generative fill of feature. So this tool can be a really, really good option for you in that. Okay, uh, so the next uh, feature is really, really amazing as well, which is text effects. So you can apply styles or textures uh, to text with a text prompt. So let's just say if you are a designer or if you are someone who is uh, like a text, uh, you know, editor or text person. So this feature can be really cool for you because now you can go ahead and change uh, the alphabet to literally anything. So, you know, uh, with this amazing feature, you can go ahead and change your text into like a really, really amazing artwork, like literally whatever you want. So let's just say here are two options. You're saying enter text and then enter the prompt. So over here, you need to enter text, like what text you want and like what kind of, you know, a uh, different uh, you want that text to like, you know, generate, let's just say this is like a pizza. These are balloons, these are like strings. So, you know, these kind of descriptions, okay? So let's just say for the text, I provide the word jungle and for the prompt, I say jungle, wine, and animals, okay? So, you know, for the jungle, I'm basically uh, trying to create a vibe of a jungle and animals for that specific word. So let's just say like how good is gonna generate that for me. So let's just wait for that. I'm just gonna go ahead and click generate. All right, so take a look at that. So, you know, basically created the exact word jungle and in that, it created kind of a whole aesthetic for me of the jungle, like, you know, like the word is made of jungle or something. And, you know, 
in that feature, you also get like tons of, uh, you know, like editing options as well. So first of all, we have sample prompts. So you can go ahead and create sample prompts for whatever already the Adobe Firefly offers you. So we have like literally lots of sample prompts over here. Then you have massive, so you can go ahead and, you know, change the shape of the text if you want. Then you can change the font as well. And you can go ahead and change the color of your text as well. So it's really, really amazing if you are a text person or if you are a designer or, you know, some kind of an editor. And if you want like text for your videos or any content. So this feature could be a really groundbreaking tool for you. Okay. All right. And, you know, the last feature that we have is generated recolors. So if you want to generate color variations of your vector artwork from a detailed test description, so this feature can be really amazing for you. So, you know, let's just go ahead and test this out. So first, what is going to uh, generate color variations of your vector artwork? To get started, select a sample asset, upload an SVG file. So, you know, you can go ahead and upload SVG file from here. Or if you want, you can go ahead and play with the sample images that you have. So let's just say if I go ahead and, you know, open uh, this file right over here with blue, purple and green like cat. So, you know, uh, with that, you can go ahead and change the colors of this amazing SVG file. And, you know, for that, you also can get a lots of sample prompts and lots of other options. And you can also go ahead and change the color of, you know, uh, your prompt as well and you can go ahead and play with this feature a lot if you want so you know this is a really amazing tool if you are uh, some like editing person or if you are like color grading type of person so you know this tool could be really really groundbreaking and really really amazing for you all right and you know after that uh, adobe firefly offers a uh, tons of other features as well which are 3d to image and project stardust you know but you know these features are in exploration so which means you know uh, you'll basically see these features uh in adobe firefly in the near future so you know, if that comes out uh we'll definitely make a video of that for you guys as well all right so yeah i hope you like this video and i'll see you in some other one until then take care bye bye